and welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. Today we're talking about sign of bear activity. One of the most important ways to prevent bear encounters is to be aware of your surroundings. Know what to look for that tells you that bears have been in the area. Some of the most common signs of bear activity are in their scat and tracks. The scat is something that people notice more often and it can tell you how recently a bear has been there and perhaps what the bear has been eating, but it can't tell you what species of bear it is. We leave that to the DNA analysis. When you're looking at bear scat, you're going to be looking for remnants of the foods they were eating. So oftentimes in the springtime, you'll see grizzly bear and black bear scats filled with a lot of grasses. If the bears have been eating carcasses, they look darker, but they have a greasy appearance and often there's hair in the scat. Then later in the summer and into fall, we have more scats that show berries, and there are many, many species of berries that bears feed on. So this can just, again, tell you what they're eating, and you can start noticing those food sources around you. The one caution I will give you is if you find a bear scat that is clearly from an animal carcass and it's fresh, you should be really careful because you may be close to an animal carcass that a bear is feeding on. Now, bear tracks are also a great way to tell how recently a bear has been there and even what species it is. You can identify grizzly bear and black bear tracks apart by looking at the shape of their front foot. Other signs of bear activity can include things such as rub trees, rolled over rocks and logs that have been torn open, and um, beds as well. Another sign of bear activity could be diggings and bears are making diggings for a variety of reasons. They may be directly feeding on plants such as western spring beauty, glacier lily or biscuit root among many others or they could be feeding on small mammals like pocket gophers or ground squirrels, those animals themselves or the food that those animals are caching or storing. So these areas look like uh, excavations where someone took a rototiller and dug up the soil and if you haven't seen this before, maybe be on the lookout because once you see it, it's obvious who did it. The presence of bear foods are also a great sign that bears could be around, although they don't directly tell you there's a bear in the area. Things such as uh, big patches of ripe berries, such as service berries or choke cherries or huckleberries, those are just a few of many different species that bears feed on.